What's up you guys? It's Sarah. How you doing? In my 2021 wrap up video, which I will link for you in the description down below, I talked about the goals that I met this year and the goals that I fell short on. And I have finally gotten around to redoing my vision board. I know that I am super late to the party on this one, but I made my 2021 vision board in March, which by the way is just an example of how you don't need to wait for a new year to set new goals. You can wait for the next day or the next hour. You can just start whenever you want. And that's what I did in 2021. And I knew that I wanted to create my 2022 vision board as soon as possible and as soon as possible was February for me this year. So I thought it would be fun to talk about my 2022 vision board this year, what goals I want to accomplish, all of that fun stuff, manifesting things, keeping track of my goals so that I can hold myself accountable next year. So if that sounds interesting to you, you can hang out and we're going to talk about all things goals and manifesting for the year 2022. But before we dive into it, if you're new here, click that subscribe button because I make new videos every Thursday and I would love for you to hang out with me. And if you enjoyed this video, share it with a friend and click the thumbs up button because that stuff really helps. Alrighty, let's jump into my goals for 2022. First up on my list, which should be no surprise to anyone, is I have a goal of writing because I always want to improve my writing. If you don't know, I'm writing a book. I've been writing since I was a kid and I have a massive goal of becoming a published author one day. And so my goal this year Year is to not write every day like I have done in previous years past but to finish the draft two of the book that I'm working on. I decided not to put limits on myself for everyday writing. I have a goal of trying to write every other day but I'm not going to try to place those limits and pressure on myself because I am starting a full-time job, my life is going through a lot of changes right now, and I just don't think writing every day will be possible for me. So I've decided to just have an overarching goal of finishing my second draft of this book by the end of the year, which I definitely should accomplish, and I have a lot of rewriting to do, so it should be a lot of work, but I have faith in myself to do it. Next on my list in terms of reading goals, last year I read 30 books for 2021, and this year I knew I had to increase the game a little bit, so my goal is to read 32, which is not that much higher, but hey, it's still improving. I don't think I can read much more than that because it was quite the stretch to read 30 books, but I'm hopeful that I will reach 32 books. I use audiobooks, and I I read as much as I can, but with me working full time, I don't have as much time as I used to. So we'll see. If you know me, you know I like to be active. So one of my other goals is to run five miles this year. If you've been around, you know that I got into running during quarantine, but had a bit of a backslide with that when I got really sick this past year. So my goal is to get back into running and with the winter time, it is very hard, but maybe when the weather gets a little bit warmer, I will start to get back into it. And my goal is to reach five miles of running consecutively. And also on that note, I want to work out three times a week. It doesn't matter if it's running or weights, whatever it is, I want to do something active at least three times a week to keep my body moving and healthy. I also have a goal of drinking seven glasses of water a day. Let's see if we get there. I'm measuring it in my Yeti that I take to work, so hopefully I can get that. I don't think it's going to be one of those like, oh, I definitely did this every day this year. I can check that off my list, but it's kind of going to be, yeah, for the most part I did this every day. And I also have some financial goals that I won't say numbers wise, but I have goals on how much I want to put away for a retirement. I have goals on how much I want to put away for savings for like emergency funds and stuff like that. And I have goals that I want to put away for like a car payment and all that stuff. So I definitely have some financial goals. And if you don't do this for yourself, I would highly recommend you do that. It's a great way to stay on top of your income and just kind of know where you're at. And it helps you save money as well. Look at me just talking about everything in the world. The topics I cover on this channel is really funny. I know you're supposed to narrow it down to niche things, but I, I just talk about everything I love. You know, books, TV shows, movies, theater. Now we're talking about finances. I, apparently I cover it all. Now's a good time to click the subscribe button if you're interested. And that's a great segue into I have a goal of reaching 250 subscribers on YouTube this year, so please help me make that happen and click that subscribe button. I would so appreciate it. Help a small YouTuber out. I also have a personal goal this year to continue my relationship with my boyfriend as long as it's healthy and stable and happy. All's hoping that it will be. I hope that that continues on because I am having so much fun and 
very much enjoying that. And last on my list, I have a goal of meditating. I got into meditating and again, kind of got out of it. I want to get back into it. I want to do it at least three times a week. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, every day I exercise, I'll meditate for even if it's just five minutes, I want to get back into calming my mind and enjoying that aspect of just reflection and taking care of my mental state as well as my physical state. And the other day when I was creating my new vision board, I was looking at my old vision board and I filmed myself pulling off some of the icons I had on my vision board with all of the goals that I met. And I'm going to put this video right here because I think that it's really cool. This is sort of an impromptu video here, but I was redoing my vision board for the year. Yes, it's February and I haven't finished my vision board, but I finally had time to sit down and do it. And I really, I had been checking off my goals for the year and I talked about it in my wrap up for 2021, but I really just realized how fortunate I was with all of my goals this year because I set goals ranging from getting a publishing deal, which is obviously a crazy high goal that I never expected to get in 2021, but I wanted to throw it on there. To, you know, drinking five glasses of water a day, which is one of the things I did not accomplish because I definitely did not do that. But I reached six out of ten of my goals and I'm so grateful for them. And so I thought that I'd just pop my camera on. I've never done this. My camera's balancing on like pillows right now because I'm just totally in the mood to like be doing my vision board but I wanted to document this more for myself too and for other people out there to show that you know you really can reach your goals and you really can do anything that you set your mind to and so I just kind of wanted to share the goals that I achieved this year even though I sort of already shared it once but first was going from a part-time job to a full-time job and I wanted to do this because I was graduating and I accomplished this in September which I was incredibly, incredibly proud of. Next, I wasn't sure I was gonna get this one, but to read 30 books in the year, I was a little worried that I wasn't gonna get there, but I did it. I pushed myself and I got there. It was a close one. The next one I'm not gonna show you because it has a dollar amount on it, but it was to contribute a certain amount of money to a savings account, and I reached that as well. So that is awesome. And another money one that I'm not going to show you because it has a dollar amount and I don't talk, you know, finances with the world, but this has a certain dollar amount that I wanted to make uh, over the course of the year last year because, you know, I'm hourly, so I don't know what income is going to be. I don't have, like, that salary set number of $100,000 a year, I wish, but I, I had that set amount that I wanted to reach for that goal, and I did. Next is this, this little heart, which was to find love which I did, and it's so, so amazing that, um, you know, you really just, things can come true if, if you put your mind to it, and this next, this last one is one of the biggest ones, because I really thought that this was a long shot, but this is a picture of the Dear Evan Hansen curtain call that I took in 2020, uh, with my Dear Evan Hansen 2020 cast, that's Jordan Fisher right there, and the rest of the cast. And this picture I put on my vision board because I wanted to go back. I wanted to go back to New York, I wanted to go back and see Dear Evan Hansen, and I wanted to go back and see this cast. And I knew that this was such a long shot with COVID, with everything going on, but this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted to go back and see. Well, if you've been around these last few weeks, then you know that I did get to go back. And I got to see this cast, with a few exceptions. And it was amazing. And I cannot believe that these six goals of mine have come true. Like really, they, they were the biggest ones for me other than, you know, getting like a publishing deal. Um, that's huge on my list. That's a big like goal of mine for the future. I didn't anticipate that happening. I threw it on there anyway, but as I'm making my vision board for this year, it's so wonderful and I'm so grateful that I am able to look back on my goals this year and be like, oh my gosh, look at, look at everything that I did. And so I guess if anyone else out there is like thinking about manifesting and making a vision board or putting those positive vibes and goals out into the universe, I would say do it. It's, it's so gratifying and it's so wonderful to look back and look at all you accomplished. 
So hopefully that video inspired you to make your own vision board or set your own goals for the year. And I would love to hear what your goals are for the year. So tell me in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and enjoying this video. If you want to see more from me, you can follow me over on social media. On Instagram, I am at the underscore writing corner. And if you want to follow me on either Twitter or TikTok, it is at Sarah M. Caroline and that's Sarah with an H. I'm trying to upload more content lately, so you should definitely come check me out, interact with me, tell me what you think, suggest videos to me. I love hearing from you guys, so please, please, please help interact, boost my channel. It helps so much. Thank you guys. I hope you have a fantastic Thursday. I hope you're staying safe with the crazy wild weather we've been having. I will talk to you guys next week.